Hi guys! Welcome back to my kitchen. The holidays are upon us and we have some great recipes that we're going to do this month. So, but I need you first to go register at rockinourdisabilities.com through the email, through the website, or through any other social media avenues. So, to get things started, welcome to November. I'm so glad we all came on this journey together. It's been a crazy year, but look at us. We're still cooking, we're having a good time. This is the time to really be connected with our family and get together, and one of the ways we do that is through food. Not only does it taste good, but it brings people to the table and it's good for conversation too. So don't forget to tell them that you made this recipe all by yourself. So I'm super excited. Today, we're gonna make green bean casserole. One of my favorites, this goes great with just about any type of um, meat if you're gonna do it for Thanksgiving and have it with your turkey or ham or like what we're gonna do tonight, I'm gonna make a roast and this is gonna be one of our sides because it's getting kind of chilly. So I'm super excited. So let's go over what we need. You're gonna need some type of baking dish. I'm gonna use one of these these uh, reusable tin or uh, like one time use tins, but I get a good three uses out of it. You're gonna need some milk, some soy sauce, some green beans. Now you can also use the canned ones too if you want, but you're gonna make sure that you rinse and drain them really good and let them dry out just a little bit if not, it'll get kind of soupy. You're gonna need a uh, can of the cream of mushroom soup, crispy onions, some black pepper. Now I'm gonna be using a whisk and bowl to put my ingredients together before I stick it in my pan. Um, so I'm gonna use that. You want a strainer or some way that you can rinse out um, your green beans, if you're using fresh green beans, you're going to want to blanch them in hot water for about five minutes. So we're going to get some water ready, let it boil, and then we're going to blanch them. We're going to give them a quick cook. So I also have my big pot out so that I can cook them, and we're going to need a teaspoon measuring spoon. So let's go wash our hands, and I'm going to get the hot water started for my fresh green beans. Again, if you're using canned green beans, that's totally fine. Nothing wrong with it, it's gonna taste great. You just wanna make sure that you strain them out, you drain them really, really good before you put it in your mixture so it doesn't turn out soupy. All right, ready, let's go. Okay, friends, while my hot water is warming up, I'm gonna set my green beans aside, and I'm gonna make my um, like mixture that makes it a, a casserole. So, get out all the things I need. Ta-da! Okay, so we need the entire can of cream of mushroom. Oh, I like it when it's an easy pull. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to need a half a cup of milk. There we are. Set that aside so I can put it back in the fridge. We're gonna need a teaspoon. Remember, a teaspoon is the littler spoon. A tablespoon is the bigger one. A teaspoon of soy sauce. This adds yummy flavor. So good. One teaspoon. Good, okay. We're gonna, it says we need a dash of black pepper. This is your own personal preference, however you want to use. A dash, usually you pour a little bit in your hand and then you just kind of pinch it out or you kind of scoop a little bit out. I, my family likes spice, so I'm just going to add a little, little extra. Don't want to overkill it. You still want to have some taste buds. And I'm going to whisk this all together before I add in my crispy onions. I'm going to get it nice and stirred together. Now we're 
gonna add in, I usually add in about half to two thirds of the container because we're gonna use the whole container. If, if you got the bag version, use your best judgment um, about how much you put in. But this, when you add it to it, oh, it's gonna taste so good. There we go. So use your best judgment of how much you put in. I usually use half to two thirds because the rest we're gonna add on top when we're done. Um, it's gonna bake for about 30 minutes or so before you add the little crunchies on top. And it just adds a little flavor and it's so good and I like the crispiness. I'm gonna pour in. I don't want that to spill everywhere. Ah, there we go. Save the rest for on top. So that's about two thirds. Save this for later. Stir it all in. Make sure it gets nice and mixed in. There we go. All right, now it's time to go check on my water. I'm gonna set this aside for when I'm gonna um, add it to my green beans for my container. All right, let's go check on the water. Okay friends, now that I have my green beans ready, I let them cook so it's cool enough to touch. Um, that means that the, all the water's been drained, but they're cooked thoroughly through, so they're not, um, fro if you use frozen ones or canned ones, you just wanna make sure that they're drained really, really good, because if not, it's gonna um, make your mixture soupy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pan, and I'm gonna use whatever baking container you'd like to use, just make sure that it's uh, oven safe. I'm gonna put just a little bit of the mixture in the bottom. There we go. I'm gonna spread that out. Coat the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna add in some green beans. Ooh. I'm gonna layer it all nice and even. Add another little layer because this will all melt together. It'll like adhere to it. Or you can stick them in the bowl, mix them all up. That's up to you. I like to layer mine because um, then it like melts throughout and it's so good and so creamy. I love that. Creamy dishes are my favorite in the winter because it makes, it just, it's so good and comforting. All right, add the rest. Ta-da! Throw that in the wash. They're nice and even. Beautiful. Perfect, all right. Add the rest. Spread that around. All right, when it cooks, it's all gonna melt and adhere together. Make sure it's nice and even. Let all the little green beans get a something. There we go. I'm gonna do my dishes while this cooks because it's important that we clean up as we go. So. All right, now I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 30 minutes. I preheated my oven after my water was done boiling. 
um, to 350. And so we're just gonna throw this in. Uh, and then I'm gonna do the dishes so that we're all ready. Don't forget to use your protection. You don't wanna burn yourself. Move this out of the way. Thirty minutes, okay. Okay, y'all, it's been about 30 minutes, and then I took it out to put the rest of the topping on of the crispy onions for five minutes, so my, um, my casserole is now done, and what I want to do is make sure it's just a little bit brown on top, not a whole lot, so I'm going to take it out of the oven, I'm going to turn off the oven. So good. Put that on here. Perfect. Okay, friends, you want to let this cool before you dig in, but you want to make sure that you have some yummy other dishes to go with it. This is great to have for just about any meal, and I'm so excited. I can't wait to dive in. It looks so good. I'm going to take a photo of it for you guys. I can't wait till next time. I hope you guys enjoy this season. This is a great time to get together with family. Let them know that you made this recipe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.